Hello, my name is Shot Leon. Welcome back for another episode of The Last Kingdom in Aurora Forex. And in previous episode, we finally got some of the fire control stuff. So we can hopefully, well, we didn't actually complete the resources for them, but we got the uh, practice attack for the longer fire control range. But now we bring you back into, we did do a bit of a time skip again, but we will bring you back because we found another system. And it does have another jungle mountain with pretty decent gravity. Has a massive population cap. It has a lot of oxygen there, but I have a feeling that this is going to be yet another system for the faithful, because uh, well, they like jungle planet, and yeah. Uh, so I'm sending the royal survey number two down that way. I'm going to be surveying the one of the moons first there, because if there is something in there, we might be able to spot it first. So that is why we're taking a bit of precaution. I don't want to lose the ship if I don't have to. But we'll see how that goes. But we'll also reorganize the map a little bit here. So move the House of Orlangos branch down this way. And then Amber still has uh, places to expand there. Move the Ekasaks and Turinthian down. Oh, actually. Shouldn't you be... Yeah, and then I move Silvercard to the side there. So it's a bit of a... Uh, extra bit there, but it's not that long of a trip, quite frankly. Like, it's a uh, from the entrance between Barracud and Blutgang to Silvergar, it's only 1.2 billion, and from <laughs> Silvergar to Dizona, it's uh, less than a billion kilometers. Then, surfing, it gets a bit, bit longer distance again. And then the faithful are over there, then we switch the uh, um, Alexander's branch down here. So that should make it a little bit easier to look at, actually. I did not save that, did I? Um, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and see what we can find at the planet there, because it has a lot of oxygen, so it might be inhabited. Oh, and harvesting capacity at the Russell. So that's one of the civilian ones. It's already completed. Uh, so you probably can... Yeah, you can do it. Right, it's a fleet. Let's just go through both of the... So, refuel from stationary tankers and there, and then transfer fuel to colony. We'll have a little bit of fuel, nothing massive. But I am honestly a bit curious what we'll find here. Hopefully good resources, at least. But it, again, it has a massive oxygen amount there. Commander Summit for the supply. Actually, have we got on the... Oh yeah, we have. We've got the archaeology battalions there at least. The regiments are not there, but we haven't completed the survey at St. Petersburg yet. Trust me, I would have told you if I had. Or if we had uh, found out what's in there. Because I am certainly curious on what's going to be in there. Oh, right, you did your overhaul, but you didn't refuel. Why don't you refuel real quick and then... You know what? I think you have interest to be in the aquamarine system, so I'll send you down that way once you've done your refuel. Because it's potentially going to be your system again. Oh, and the Faithful Survey 1 has arrived here. Well, you're going to do your overhaul in a little bit. Right, and the Tug. Uh, the Gas Harvester Guild's Tug has completed orders, so it's not going to do anything important right now. Let's go back to Aquamarine, because I really want to see what happens here. So we are at the moon. We should be far enough so that we're not getting shot at. But, um, okay, so if we take a day there, oh, just happened to build cycle there. Right, I'm going to take it a little bit slow here. Um, three hours. Now going to the planet itself, you don't need a lot of time to get in there, so I'll take it relatively slow, actually. In case there is something in there. Well, we should have spotted it already. So close. If there was something, they would have fired already. Or oh, if there was rockets in there, they would have fired. All right then. Well, that's good to know. So that's at least safe. I'm quickly, even up the numbers there a little bit to be a bit nicer to look at. Not that it matters too much. Oh, and another build cycle. Okay, so that is a big planet. I'll probably find something though. But so far, we haven't found anything in here. I reckon. Nope, not yet. But this may well be a good uh, location. Oh, and the 
Trade uh, or Commerce Guild's uh, collection ship brought in some resources from our mine in Mimung, which we still got a decent bit of minerals there. Some Mercassium. Of course, Mercassium. Actually, Mercassium. Okay, so how about we do this? Where's the collection one? You just got back. Got a decent bit of fuel still, so you don't need to worry about that. I'm going to send you back to Mimung. I'm going to pick up the minerals from there. You're going to go to Chuyu's. You're going to unload all minerals over there. And then you can make your way back to Barracuda. You can probably refuel at the Barracuda Herrick number 2. And then get back to Viralis. That way we can get rid of the constant nagging of a uh, lack of Mercassium in Joyous or the Iodis. Oh, and we got another cargo ship actually. Alright then. Now, the question is who should we give that? Uh, Orlanco doesn't have any logistics yet, but they can't really access their future colonies either, so... Not sure if we should give it to them. Is there any cargo ships that are currently sitting at home? Well, not there. Uh, what about... Well, those are on the move, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh, we got some of the older kind of cargo ships over here as well. We might want to get rid of those eventually. Just because they use a lot more fuel. Right, what about... Actually, the Faithful do have a cargo ship. Yes, they do. Mostly taking infrastructure right now. Mm hmm. Then they got two disciples in here, which are doing at least a little bit of uh, an annual terraforming. Nothing massive, to be fair, but it is at least something. So I'll probably keep it at the shipyard fleet for the time being until one of the royal cargo fleets returns home. So we can assign to that or one of these. Actually, ooh. um, hmm. We'll think about it. But yeah, we'll keep it there for the time being. We'll. How much fuel do we have right now? We've got nine and a half, so I suppose we could build up a yet another cargo ship. Um, <laughs> mule Mark 4B, assigned to the shipyard fleet. I'm pretty sure that we have no components because we haven't been building any right now. And um, then do we need a target? Not necessarily. We could get another... Oh, right over here we can only build the Mule Mark 4s, not the 4Bs, which is a bit unfortunate. We could build a Denarius. You know what, let's build one of those. Now that is going to take a fair bit of resources, especially the Galasar, which I'm... I'm reluctant to say we are running very low. But we are running very low. Right, so we still need to wait for a while to get the results from that survey in the planet, but I reckon it's going to have a massive amount of resources. And I'm sure that uh, Defran is going to be happy. Oh, sorry, um, Grand Priest. Hold on. I don't remember the exact name of the Grand Priest out of the top of my head, but I remember that the name was the Pious. Alright, so mineral deposit in... that was in Amethyst. One of the comets, okay, 181,000 Duranium and 44,000 Vendra, not too bad. And the Seeker has just surpassed there, actually I think that was the House Orlanco survey ship, wasn't it? Oh, and Romanov survey in Durandal. Oh, are you not doing your thing? Oh, you're not doing a thing. Right, well, how about we give you a thing to do? Right, well, that should at least give you something to do. Uh, overhaul completed. So, uh, hold on. Seeker so Mark Forza, is that? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. So, Alexander Survey Vessel 2. I'm just going to send you back to Excalibur. You can keep doing your stuff there. There's a bit of conga line of freighters going back and forth here. That's alright. I do need them to do a lot of work in all fairness. Let me go back to uh, Aquamarine. Are we, still, we are still serving that for a few more days. I really want to know what we'll find there. Oh, and we completed maintenance facilities in Viralis. We started on a few gatekeepers. 
So we can start setting up some uh, more... Um, what are they called? Jump tenders. Oh, right, so we now got the results from there. I'm actually open this so it's going to be a bit easier to see. Right, so we've got a decent bit of Duranium there. Good accessibility. A lot of Tritanium, bad accessibility. A lot of Mercassium, bad accessibility as well. Well, Venderite, Uridium. Ooh, a lot of Corundium, very good accessibility. Also some Galicite. Okay, and that's not bad at all. Other than the fact that the <laughs> atmosphere, there's a lot of oxygen there. And there's some sulfur dioxide there, which is not great either. But yeah, that is a massive planet. The temperature is a bit high, actually. On the other hand, if we can get rid of some of the atmosphere there, then it should be better. Uh, it is actually... It's not too high atmosphere for us, but it is close. Alright, well, we're starting to survey around here, at least. I'm finding a lot of resources on the asteroids there. So that's good. New mineral deposits. Right, yeah, asteroids. Right, it's now year 84. Let me actually have a quick look at the production queue, so... Oh, we have nothing queued up. Oh, I'm going to get the first thing completed in... very soon, actually. Right, well, how about we build more... gas oxen, then? They will take some decent amount of boronite each. We'll build another 10 at 20%, I think. Enough of that. Are we going to get the... Oh, is it crown? No, 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 that is the point, but never mind then. Still we're going to get some construction factories and research facilities. After that, we're going to get the highway constructor soon. So after that, we'll probably start doing a bit more... Something, something construct... Actually, no, that is 10%. So we'll get more infrastructure. Get another thousand. They're relatively cheap. So we can keep at least the productions working at full capacity. Right, in Durandal we found some minerals in Comet and some in Asteroid on Aquamarine. Alright then. Oh, and in Shamshir we now located the... or surveyed the Comet and it does have Duranium in there. That is rather handy. Right, so now I believe you can go back to... or continue to how to clear. I'm not entirely sure if you'll have the range to actually do much in there right now. Right, so we've got the current construction facility. Hmm, question is... We have not redesigned our units yet, so I don't really want to build too much of the obsolete units. Or basically obsolete units. But we'll at least have that available. You know what? In the meanwhile, I suppose I could just get more construction battalions. So, build four of those and another regiment. Headquarters for them. And we got another gatekeeper for the space station. Uh, do we have the Royal Tug available? I believe we do. Right, um... Let's actually have a look. Where do we need the... Jump tenders right now? Don't need ones to... Actually, what do we have here? Oh, right, we got a jump tender over there. Commercial jump tender like that. Right. Do we have one over here? We've got military one going that way, and the Zona we have a survey vessel. But yeah, we might actually... oh yeah. You know what, yeah, um... You are currently orbiting Viralis. So what we'll do is we'll take the space station, the gatekeeper mark 201, or number 1, and then... go to Plutgang. An ancient silver gar. Then you're going to release the tractor chip down there. Uh, then we're going to have to send you back to Blutgun. And Barracuda, you can go to Exarx. Pick up the gatekeeper from there. And then also back to, let's go to Blutgun. Then silver gar. You can go to the zona at that point. And I believe we need to go to Turfing, don't we? Yeah. So we'll place you on that one, release Dracula ships. 
and then go back to Zulvigar and Blood Gun and um not uh Barracuda, not Colorado. And then you probably don't need to refuel yet, so we'll just go back to Baralis. We do have pretty good uh, capacity at least. We'll try to open this branch as well a little bit for operators. And we do plan on building that one. Actually, do we have the... Alright, so we got... Oh, right, yeah, we got something... Oh, it's a military... Oh yeah, it's mostly to keep an eye on the uh, entrance to this branch here. And over here we got the survey vessel over there. We got... Hold on, so we got someone... Working over here, we got the jump gate constructor over there already, so we should have the gate constructor soon. And get one to Kurtana at least. Right, well, let's uh, keep on going, shall we? New minerals in Aquamarine, okay, another asteroid, of course. Oh, and Drake Fleet number three has completed orders. Let's have a look, what were you doing previously? Because I don't remember. You were on a long order that I remember. Oh, right, yeah, no, no, you transport another terraforming installation to Lübeck. Let's have a quick look at the environment situation there. So it has quite a bit of nitrogen already. The temperature has risen up a little bit once again. It's not high enough, to be fair. But it is getting there. And terraforming capacity, okay, so it's 0.04 atmospheres per year right now in here. Uh, it's quite impressive. And I'm pretty sure that we still have plenty of workers that we could use. Yes, we do. How many terraforming installations do we have here? It's still five. You know what? The quicker we have this terraform, the better. So I'm just going to use the... I mean, it is the Commerce Guild's planet anyway, so they'll probably want to get that going. I mean, I'm sure that the Faithful are okay with allowing them to use that for the time being. Because they're not used in Veralis anyway. So load installation, terraforming inst installation, unload over there. I'll repeat that another nine times, so we'll get two more in there. And then you can probably refuel at Barracuda herd number two. And then go back to Veralis. That's going to keep you busy for a while again, but not too bad. Oh, the Orlanka survey vessel is heading back to refuel. I'm probably going to have to have a... Ooh, there's another comet that we surveyed. Uh, Durandal, we surveyed another comet as well. Orders not possible. Alright, so that's the Orlanka survey 1. Alright then. Oh, and now we have a shortage of uranium for the infrastructure production. So I think we did unload some uh, uh, mercassium there, but it's not enough. Right, so Orlanka Survey 1, yeah, you do need to do your overhaul as well, so we'll be doing that right about now. And uh, we got another uh, gatekeeper, good. We can transport those eventually. Okay, civilians so construct another colon ship. And there's some, some mineral shortages and all that sort of stuff. Not too important, I dare say. New mineral deposits on... Oh, that is a planet. Alright, let's have a look at that. So it's this one. It's a Venusian planet. It has quite a bit of minerals in there. Uh, good accessibility or decent accessibility on Corbomite. Not so much on anything else. It does have a little bit of Gallicide, Sorium, Iridium, Boronite, Ritanium and Uranium. So yeah, this is going to be a quite rich uh, system by the looks of it. Oh, and we found something on another asteroid in Aquamarine. Or does not possible in Excalibur? Right, so you have nothing to do. How about you go to the unexplored jump point 1? Go through there. You still have a decent bit of fuel, so you should be able to do that. Right, so yeah, there's not a lot to survey in here. How's the capacity on front? Oh, right, where is the... Oh, first of all, how much do we have in Christina Imperialis now? We've got 0.6 fueling stations. Right, so we'll send in the uh, smaller oiler. 
Well, you'll do actually. Yeah, we'll send a smaller one. I reckon that's going to be enough. So auto route system printing, and then printing herd. Uh, refuel from stationary tankers. Auto route back. Go to Barracuda. And transfer fuel to colony. It's going to take you a little while, but that should be okay. And we found more minerals on an asteroid. Well, that's to be expected. Okay, Excalibur has been surveyed. There's nothing else to survey in there, so how about you go through the unexplored jump point 3. We'll be expanding from here a little bit, I reckon. Although, well... Hold on. Well, to go between the jump points, we don't need to pass through the near or to center of the system. So we are not going to be risking strikes from the Rakhas. Lots of capacity. Yeah, I know. Uh, ship construction. we got another jump tender. It's going to take a while before we can actually get them to their locations, but that's all fine. Okay, so we found a new system. Aventurine. It's not a big one. What do they have here? So they got some comets. Ooh. They do have a planet with oxygen. Not a massive amount of oxygen, but it's certainly usable. There's a lot of planets in here that are kind of colonizable, but not easily. I mean, the temperatures are very low in here. The entire system, which is a bit of a shame. Although the age is very young, so this might be a very rich system, in fact. This might actually even be a system, or a home system for someone. We're almost there. Let me take it a little bit slower for a little while here. Maybe not that slow. Well, there's nothing in there by the looks of it. Well, we're currently serving one of the moons, but if we haven't spotted anything at this point, it's a bit unlike... Oh. Right, harvesting capacity, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, overhaul completed. And we got two more construction battalions. The transport is still in the trend, or in move. Formation training task. Construction, we got another Denarius. I actually assigned that to the trade fleet number three once we've completed transporting the um, terraforming installations. And... Uh, Facial Survey 1 has completed their overhaul, so I'm going to send you back to, or over to Aquamarine as well. You can help surveying that system. Let's actually have a look. How bad is the... Uh, it's 92%, it's not filling up that quickly. Oh, and we found a new system. Let's have a look at this one. So there's nothing on the main star. There's a single planet on this one, it's a gas giant, but this is basically an empty system. It's relatively large though. Alright, so let's have a look. How do they situate in here? So there's one there. And then, yeah, so we are certainly spreading out a little bit here now. We know 36 systems. Now the max amount is 1000, I believe, so... Not going to run out of space anytime soon. We haven't found any links or loops right, right now though, so that's a bit surprising actually. At least in VB6 you used to find those pretty much constantly. Right, so hand survey 1 in... Oh yeah, you started your overhaul. And we got another research lab. How about we assign that to the fuel consumption? Just so that we can better get the better reactors and then jump drives and all that sort of stuff. Having good research in there is probably going to be handy in the not too distant future. We're going to get the damage control in a few months. We're also going to get the railgun upgrade, after which we can start designing our new infantries. And that's going to take a while probably. New mineral deposits on another asteroid. Harvester capacity on... Oh, Barracuda. There's one that is almost full. Let's have a look. Um, is that on Barracuda Herd 1 or 2? Looks like it's on 2. Oh yeah, there's one that has a lot in there. 
Alright then, uh, let's use the oiler. You can just quickly go in there and empty it. So it might mm, cause some troubles for a little while. But you know, just uh, refuel from stationary ta tankers and then transfer fuel to colonies. So how much do we actually have in that herd right now? 4.5 million. We've got 2.5 million on this one. Uh, room team, we got 2.9. So we are going to be emptying that mostly. Not entirely, but mostly. And then we got 1 million liters in Scotland. That's not too bad though. However, we seem to be out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye bye.